In this video I'll be doing a review of Sparky Linux version 2.1 Ultra Edition. The Ultra being ultra lightweight? Hmm, dunno. Ultra dull? Maybe. <laughs> ultra fast? Definitely. Anyway, this distro comes from Poland. Um, it's hard to believe with that styling that things could be that destitute there, but uh, styling aside for the moment, it is actually a very quick distro. Now I haven't seen a distro shift as fast as this since uh, elementary OS. Yeah, I mean, it really does open things up just ridiculously quick. You just see up there, I've just lobbed a stack of programs open and it hasn't delayed it at all. It's just carried on going and literally opening things up about as soon as I click on the button. So let's just go and close everything that I opened there. <laughs> Quite a stack there. Well, as you can see, this distro has the application launcher across the bottom, the window bar across the top, and up here we've got uh, the network connection, update manager, volume control, time and date, but no calendar. On the right hand side here we've got a fairly basic looking conky script with a few different colours on there. The desktop is open box and the distro is based on Debian Wheezy. So right click on the desktop and you bring up the launcher. We can get to like the applications. Oh, and this is a different feature here. You've got uh, directory listings, recent files, devices, uh, configuration. You can take screenshot. You've got weather application here as well. That's a bit different. The weather in the Warsaw. Let's just see if there's anything in the config there to change the weather. Yeah, I can't see that. <laughs> I don't know how you change the settings on the weather. I'm sure it'd be there somewhere, I just haven't uh, looked around enough to find it. Oh, here's a nice feature, Application Finder. So say I was after PC Man FM, File Manager. But you can also type in File Manager and it'll bring it up. So that's nice. Not quite on par with the Unity Searcher, but it's still good. Now one downside with this distro, I was trying to edit this bar along the bottom using the wbar config. So you think, oh let's go and add a new application. So you want a title? Yeah, no problem. Midori. Command. Midori. But where do I get the icon from? And you can't just click OK and leave it. Oh, and now it's just lost it. <laughs> well, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? So it's going to be a bit more difficult to customise that bar along the bottom of the screen. Well, you can change the position of it, so you know, there's a few useful features here, but but most of all it just seems to be a bit difficult adding in new programs on it. So I'll take a look through the applications that we get pre-installed. So under accessories, yeah, no surprises there. Under games, so you've got quite a few games pre-installed. Well, oh, this is too many to read out. Let's just open up one of these. Tetravex. <laughs> oh, this was a weird one. I think you've got to like, make up the patterns. Uh, trying to match the patterns up here. Anyway, you've got a solve button and oh look, I was completely wrong. Anyway. Under graphics, so we've got uh, Camorama Webcam Viewer, we've got Document Viewer, GIMP's installed and that's GIMP version 2.8. Image Magic Display, okay. Simple Scan and XPDF. Under Internet, we've got Chromium for the web browser, Claws Email, Lifera Feed Reader, Midori I installed, just to test out the distro. Got Pigeon Internet Messenger, Transmission for downloading torrent files, XChat for the IRC chat, and GFTP. Under Office, you've just got the lightweight Office applications of Abbey Word and Genumeric. Under Other, you notice we've got Adobe Flash Player on here. And in fact, uh, the rest of the codecs are installed as well, so I was able to play MP4 video files and MP3 audio files. Oh, we've even got Java pre-installed, so that's very nice. So you've just got uh, a few other settings on here for like the screensaver and setting up the desktop. Under sound and video, you've got Audacity Audio File Editor, AVD Max, DVD Encoder, OGM RIP, okay. DVD, x -Ailey. we've got the Alsa Mixer, Gnome M Player, Record My Desktop, Sound Converter, Sound Juicer, VLC Media Player XF Burn. So there's actually quite a lot of applications you get uh, pre-installed on this distro. I'm starting to think now it's slightly too many, having looked through it a bit closer, because I gave it 5 out of 5 on the uh, score sheet. And here's what I thought of Sparky Linux version 2.1. So easy to use. Yep, reasonably easy enough. Ease of installation. Uh, definitely not an easy one to install. It was very irritating, it kept asking for the country settings. So ask for locale settings. 
country settings, keyboard, time zone, over and over again, and it kept, def it kept defaulting to USA. And there's quite a few technical questions in there. In fact, I set the locale settings early on, and then GParted wouldn't work. So <laughs> that was a right mess. I had to reboot, do GParted, and then set it up from there. So would a new user know that? Uh, perhaps not. Starling. Debatable of what to give it for this one. Uh, they've done their own custom theme, so by my own scoring system I should give them 4 out of 5. But it was really dull, so I could have given them 2 out of 5. Instead I've gone for halfway between 3 out of 5. Boot up speed, about 9 seconds, so that's reasonable. Responsiveness, oh it is very quick. Opened before I clicked a button. Not that as I clicked the button, but it's just supposed to be a joke there. Number of bugs, uh, just one broken dependency on the IA32 libs. Um, Seems to be one that should be fixable in Debian, but for some reason it was left there and that's where I got the issues. A selection of pre-installed applications. I'm starting to think now there may have been a few too many there, but I still go with that. Pretty reasonable. It was either going to be four or five there. We'd only adjust the score by 2% if I lowered it. Number of applications available. Well, they've added a few repositories, but nothing that brilliant. To get, not enough to give it a five out of five and they got both 32 and 64-bit versions. So, the good points, it is lightweight and very fast. The bad points there, it is a very dull looking distro. Uh, some issues there with broken repositories, and there's also that annoyance of uh, trying to edit the uh, bar along the bottom of the screen. So a few bad points there. But overall, I've given it 80% or even 78%. Anyway, thanks for watching, see you later.